Yo guys, welcome back to another video. So in the last video we set up um ooh, black spike. We didn't set that up. Maybe we did. We set up this insanium production here. Um I we shouldn't have made that much because I'm recording like right after that last video. I just edited it and then here I am again. Um <clears throat> Yeah, we don't have that much made, so we're going to jump start onto our um our power production. You see out here, this is the top of our base. Like I said, I kinda of just dug into this mountain here. Um I'm gonna have to terraform around this because what we're doing now is getting into bigger reactors. Now, what I want is a 17 by 17 by 18 tall reactor. Um, I think that should be sufficient enough to get us started. Um, I just don't think this is going to be enough blocks here. But we might even be able to drop this down one. Let's, let's actually do that. And that should save some space. Where's this guy? Oh, that's not what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Okay. Something like that. All right, so that's the floor done. <laughs> Just like that. That's the floor. Well, that's our quarry bag. Now we need to go up what? Um, 18, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the frame laid out real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, and you know, playing modded so much better. If I had to place that all vanilla, I probably would have cried. Um what else do we need? We need a bunch of these control rods. Let's start with a stack. Now, pattern we're going to go for, I believe, is like every other. This is way too quick. Oh. Something like so. And then it'll be... Actually, you know what? We need our roof on this. Alright. Um, what do we need? We need more... casings? So we're gonna go like a pattern like this. So, because that's a control rod, we're going to go casing. So, I'm going to finish this roof off, and I'll be right back. Alright, so now with all the control rods in, what we need is these... Throw these in here. These... Reactor fuel rods. We need a whole bunch of these. So I probably didn't overdo it with my creation of them. And now for every single control rod, we need um 
every control rod gets one of these uh, fuel rods. So let me get these placed. Actually, we'll just keep going. I feel like it's too dark, though. But let me get these placed, and I'll be right back. Okay. Now, with all these fuel rods placed, we need a um, coolant block. So, it'll say in here, well, we're going to need some glass as well. Uh, let's actually get a some glass made up so we can go through the quest line together. What do we need? We need reactor glass, which means we need glass glass, which means we need to craft a whole bunch. There it goes, being crafted. Very cool. That's more than enough. Let's get a reactor terminal. We're going to want a redstone port. A computer port. Craft one of everything. Want. I think we need two access ports, right? One, two. Terminal. I don't think we need this coolant port. Let's make it, find out. All right. Now we have the terminal. Oh, we need a power tap as well. Let's make two of these just to be safe. Now we have the power tap, redstone control, that. So here's what it says. There are moderators. Um, so it's usually the rarer the block, um, the better the coolant. So unobtainium's the rarest. It's going to take a whole buttload of blocks, so I don't know how you get that much of unobtainium. <laughs> But um, for the sake of finishing our reactor, we are going to use uh, diamond blocks because we have like way more than enough. So I believe if we do something like this, don't want these guys. What happened here? Must have ran out of rods at some point. Oh, crap. All right, let's. All right, let me fix this mess. Okay, now we should be right. If we place this in our offhand with a wand and. Let's just get our glass going. And some casings. I am falling apart here. Up, 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 up. Oh, wait, no, we need that one. So it's going to look something like this, but if we use our wand. We should be able to stack them up. And if we look, it all should be placed. And now we just build them straight up. And that's what we don't want is to run out. Then we have to guess which blocks didn't get placed. We want to do this all the way to the roof. Just like so. Now, with all of our blocks placed, we want to put all of our diamond blocks back away. We want to put our terminal dead center. We need our casings back again.
and then glass and then we're gonna want this guy here like so what i'm doing now is basically just making room around it or the rest of our um our you know access ports and stuff and then i'm gonna need a uranium farm to be able to keep up with this this guy's gonna chew through uh uranium like no one's business let's just go like so We're just going to go all the way around it. So... Alright, now we reached a wall. And then I have just the blocks in here. We want frame doors. And then if we click I. Just like so, you'll never know. Just like that. And then, what else do we want? We want a computer port. I'm not even sure we really need any of these. But it gives us options with it. We want a power tap. We'll put the power tap here. We want access ports. Uh, whatever. Uh, coolant port. Oh, I'm throwing my shit around. We have power tap, and I guess the rest of it just comes glass. Don't like that. Okay, we don't need this guy here. And just like that, it completed. Frickin' hover. Now we want input, output, outputting not fuel, but waste. Okay, we have a completed reactor. And I this thing is just massive. So power tap, we're just gonna, and then receive, gonna receive the energy from this. I believe we can control this with a computer craft command. I've used it in the past. And we want to go find our hallway. Just keep going straight. There it is. Cables. Again, an import. An extract. Tor. Refined storage. Oh, not an extractor, but an exporter. Let's just get this cable ran while we're here instead of running the other way. Path 
do clear all this out of the way. Place a feral lantern for some light. Uh, oh, nope, we need those guys, don't we? Yep. Okay. Not those blocks, but these blocks. And we want to import waste and export uranium. Go like so. And then let's see if we can. Uh, what am I looking for? Iron nugget and polished deep slate. If we can just make a floor. No, nope, no floor. Well, we wouldn't want these anyways. Uh, well, we're just gonna have to clean up down there, I guess. Construction with bricks. Actually, no. Where is my polished deep slate? I mean, we can make it look like it's just sitting in the cubby. Like so. I don't think I can see any of these, but. Yeah, something like that. Good enough. All right. And now we want to fill it with fuel. Uranium. Back. Feed. Back. Speed. Uranium. Fill that bad boy with fuel. Look at it. Look at it. It's killing our uranium supply. Damn. Completely fill with fuel now. Okay, so. Ooh, this is a fancy control. And you know what? Let's look up uh, the computer craft command real quick. Okay, so I have it pulled up here. I placed our screens here so we could very clearly visibly see it. I believe we need to place our computer on here with a wired modem on it. Wired modem on here. And with the wired modem, you'll see it connected. And then right to here. And then the command should be, we'll go paste bin get y ends f1 h a r startup enter failed poo um. 
I see what I did. Y N Z F one H A R. Start. Usages put get run. A spin on Y N C F one H A R. Okay. We got that. We got that. And then we should be able to hit on. And it turned it on. This is generating a lot of RF a tick. Is this receiving the RF? Can't really tell if it is or isn't. I mean, it's going up. And I believe, what does this do? Let's see. This program allows you to simply tune the power that is needed and store a minimum to maximum of power into the buffer tank of the reactor. Program comes with a GUI on screen that can be interacted with. You need a five by three screen, make it work. It will not work with any other size monitor. Ooh, interesting. Let me fix the screen. Okay, so that program was a little outdated. So we went with a new one here. Um, I'll leave it linked in the description, but this is pretty much it. Paste bin, um, install this code here, enter, and then paste bin run this code here, and it'll walk you through on the screen. Super simple. I'll leave a link in the description to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's running pretty well. Um, this has buttons here. These are my auto settings. So on when storage equals 30%. So when this is at 30%, it'll come on. When it, it'll turn off when this is at 80%. Save that. Um, there's different tools here. Um... Not sure what they do. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. Um, you can look at the efficiency of it. That 389,000 FE a tick. Um, that's our energy per millibucket fuel consumption. Not bad. It's pretty efficient, I believe. Do that. Oh, we want to... Waste output. Um, how much do we have in here now? Cyanide. This is we want to set this to whitelist so it only pulls that out. And just like that, we have a bigger reactor. Um, it's a super simple setup. I mean, it's very resource uh intensive, but. With a program like this, it's super simple to set up. Um, that's what my uranium's at. It's not going down any. It's not draining that much. So I might play with the settings more just because, I mean, this filled up all the way for whatever reason. Um, but we're not running out of uh, power now. So if we look, this should be full. Um, what's my insanium? at a whopping 37 has not even moved uh i don't have any of the other essence nope must be working that's good um so i'm gonna set up a couple uranium seeds um shouldn't be too hard to make uh uranium Uranium seed, it needs four Imperium, 
uh, the essence and then the seed base. Make a whole bunch of seed bases. We'll get a stack of this. And then we need... whole bunch of this and then one thing i've learned with this is um it does not matter the order that you put these into the pedestals so we just do that you'll see it it'll create it anyways instead of the every other pattern they have just gotta be the seed in the center and then the four resources with a pulse so i think i'm gonna get a few of these probably like maybe four of them and then um make the insanium farmland hopper botany pot it into our system and be good so with that all being said you know i hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.